Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine epsilon squared for a cross call Wallace test and to be uh, precise this one will be using the adjusted uh, for tight ranks version of the cross call Wallace result and the formula base for epsilon squared is found from this article where here's the formula for it and um, this is an article by Tom Sack and Tom Sack, if I pronounce that correctly, and here's the details of that. Um, in this video, I'll be doing a short version uh, in Excel. Uh, if you want a uh, want to know how to do all of this, slightly more complex, uh, but with more details, uh, there's a longer version, which also shows how to actually obtain it uh, with the uncorrected for tight rings. Now the first thing to do for this short version is to determine the ranks and I have some sample data here with a nominal variable containing three categories and an ordinal going from one to five. So the ranks I'll place in column C and that can be done by using the rank.average command AVG. I want to order the ordinal variables and the reference is going to be column uh, B and the order needs to be ascending so a one. Then I can simply copy paste this down or go to the lower right corner and double click and it will do the autofill. Then step two is to, to determine the average rank for each category. I listed the three categories here and the average rank is going to be average if and then the range. Uh, first it's a criteria range so that's for me column A with the nominal variables. If that's equal to this category then you need to determine the average of column C with the average ranks or the ranks in there. You can again control C and then paste this simply down. Then place the average rank next to each of them. So equals a V a lookup is useful here. I want to look up this category in uh, this table and I need to fix this table. You can press F4 and then it will put dollar signs everywhere. You can also just type the dollar signs in. Comma or semicolon depending on your system settings. And I want to see the second column because that will give me the corresponding average. And it needs to be an exact match. Uh, so either zero or you can type in false. Then close. And it should now list copy paste down again now nicely lists every time the corresponding average so for this first category it's 41 for the third category it was 20 etc then we need to calculate the correlation coefficient luckily there is coral you can also use pearson as a function and between the two created columns c and d and then if we take the square of this result we actually get our epsilon squared for the cross call wallace test and we're done and that's all there is to it